Hey everyone, we're back with another video. Yeah, and you know, this video was a long time coming, I think, because two people have made their relationship official, officially official. And there is a lot of, a lot of people don't know how to feel about this. Some people know how they feel about this. And other people like Sarah and I are a bit torn. Uh, but how's it going, everyone? We are going to also talk about a legend retiring at the very, very, very end. My Kelly O'Hara. Kelly is officially retiring. We'll talk about it and we'll talk about it at the end. But between all the, the vets retiring, it really is happening, which is hard. But we're going to start first. Sophia Bush and Ashlyn Harris have made their official red carpet debut. And Sophia Bush actually came out with a, I think they're calling it like a personal essay glamour magazine talking about not only her divorce but you know kind of kind of getting with Ashlyn and whatnot because we, we we know we know how most people feel about this situation because there are some people who will never not believe Ashlyn didn't cheat and there's some people that says they didn't cheat they're saying they didn't cheat they didn't cheat and then some people say well, it doesn't really matter if she cheated because it's none of our business so th there's a, a wide gamut of opinions but I think everyone has one to be fair so what we're going to do, we're going to talk a little bit. I'm going to talk a little bit about this article. If they've kind of been everywhere since this article has been released, they, they're definitely embracing um, being together. I heard somebody say, like, I don't think I think Ashlyn's liking this new Hollywood life, <laughs> which I think is kind of a dig at Ashlyn. But yeah, I mean, not that that's good or bad, but she's definitely enjoying it. Who wouldn't like that Hollywood <laughs> life? <laughs> but yeah, so so Sophia Bush is giving her experience in this uh, in her article or in her essay and she talks about first of all she got married to her ex-husband they were married they were not married for very long a year i think and then she actually said in the article she had cold feet definitely she, so didn't want to get married so she already started her marriage from her ex-husband off kind of kind of rocky yeah and in the article she talks about she had a lot of problems i'm gonna have sarah read part of the essay and then we're gonna talk about because because she basically said her marriage ended and then she there was a group of friends. They were helping each other with the the their relationships and their problems. And Ashlyn was one of those people. So I'm going to have Sarah read this and we're going to talk about it. During the summer of 2023, I moved back into my empty home in L.A. I was separated and preparing to file for divorce. And groups of women in my life started opening up about issues they were going through in their own homes. It seemed like every week there were more of there were more of us, including a former soccer player, Ashlyn Harris, whom I'd first met in 2019 and who was in the process of figuring out her own split from her wife. She'd been such a kind ear for those of us who opened up about our problems during a shared weekend of speaking engagements at a fancy conference in Cannes, and soon it became clear that she needed our ears too. So she says there, and we all remember those pictures from Cannes. I mean, everyone talks about that trip. Can that was kind of the trip where it seems like uh, something happened with Sophia, definitely, because she filed for divorce very soon after she got back. And the time, t the timetable uh, seems like like that's where they, where they connected. Now they're not saying they connected sexually there. They're <laughs> you can't say that. they're not saying they connected romantically there. They're more saying that's when they first connected, like, you're having a problem, I have a problem, yeah. and they connected. Um, and, you know, I understand that, but based on the timetable, it seems like that's when some alleged cheating, cheating might have happened. We don't know. But that's kind of what she's saying. She needed a friend. Ashlyn seemed like she needed friends in a support system, and that's kind of where they kind of got close. And then she talks about, she says, and she talks about that support system, meaning Ashlyn. And then I'll read this. I didn't expect to find love in the support system. I don't know how else to say it other than I didn't see I didn't see it until I saw it. And I think it's very easy not to see something that's been in front of your face for a long time when you never looked at it as an option and you never had been looked at as an option. What I saw was a friend with her big happy life and now I know she thought the same thing about me. She kidding? Everyone's in love with her. She's Sophia freaking Bush. I know. If me and my friend who watched One Tree Hill were into fanfic, the amount of fanfics that we would have <laughs> written about Brooke and Peyton, okay, that was like, that was our fantasy life, okay? We always, B and P were meant to be. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure Ashlyn, who doesn't have a question, Sophia? I, a few people in our comments said that that's, she's not their type necessarily, but she's gorgeous. 
So it sounds like based on Sophia's account that she wasn't looking for love, uh, but she found it with Ashlyn. I'm going to read a little bit more. It really took other people in our support, in our safe support bubble pointing out to me how we'd finish each other's sentences or be deeply affected by the same things. When you're so in the trenches of hardship, plus you have... Plus, you have the added weight of having to go through it in a public stage. It can be hard to see anything but what's right but what's right in front of you. It took me confronting a lot of things, what felt like countless sessions of therapy and some prodding from loved ones. But eventually, I asked Ashlyn to have a non-friend group hang to talk about it. And that meal was four and a half hours long and truly one of the most surreal experiences of my life thus far. In hindsight, maybe it all had to happen slowly and then suddenly all at once. Maybe it was all faded. Maybe it was really a version of invisible string theory. Ooh, I like that reference. I don't really know. But I know that for a sparkly moment, I felt like maybe the universe had been conspiring for me. And that feeling and that feeling that I have in my bones is one I'll hold on to no matter where things go from here. Well, that's kind of like Sophia's... Ex- explanation of her getting together now explanation now the time timeline i it still is kind of there's a lot of questions of the timeline i think the timeline seems kind of fuzzy and i think it seems kind of fuzzy because all these things were happening but if you remember in october uh that's when remember the article the articles were coming out saying oh they're just going on their first dates now in october yeah. You know, is that true? Is that not true? I'll never know. We'll never know. But the timeline does seem kind of funny. But but from Sophia's point of view, it was just friendly until it wasn't. Yeah. You know? True. Um, but then she's then she talks about the online trolls and the online criticism that came with between her and um Ashton because when since the timetable was fun fuzzy. Then, as Sophia says clearly, she says, there were accusations of being a homewrecker. The ones who said I'd left my ex because I suddenly realized I wanted to be with women. My partner, my partners have known what I'm what I'm into for as long as I have. So that's not it, y'all. Sorry. So she says she's not a homewrecker either. And so she kind of points it out. You know, she, this is from her vantage point. So at the end of the day, this is what she sees. And she's, you know, explaining how her and Ashlyn got together. She, Sophia has this piece. And then a lot of people are calling this. I saw a quote saying, this is just a PR piece for Sophia. It's, it's, it's to make her look not guilty or look good. So, you know, as we know, Ali posted the Lemonade Era. Lemonade era. He's made reference to the fact that things were fishy. The way I look at it is these things were happening. Ashton saw the marriage falling apart. Allie, maybe the time, maybe Allie didn't think that they were at that point yet. And Ashton had already moved on. But Ashton, they already knew that they were having problems. And then Ashley, Allie truly in her heart feels like she cheated. And Ashton in her heart truly feels like she didn't cheat. I think possibly what was happening, Ashton checked out of the marriage because they were having problems. And this new person came in. She connected emotionally. It's Sophia freaking Bush. And she said, it's not working out with Allie. I'm moving on. And she maybe and her Allie had conversations, but it wasn't definitive. This is divorce. It was basically maybe break, because um, there were stories that the divorce was broken to Allie by teammates at Gotham. Kind of out of the blue that Ashlyn's filing for divorce. Mm-hmm. Um, and that that was a surprise to her. So I think they both have their own truths. But. Based on what Sophia said, it's kind of like she, her, her support system was Ashlyn and Ashlyn has already checked out of the marriage. And you know what I mean? Even if Allie had to, I think there was still a lot. I think there was more communication that Allie and Ash could have had, but Ashlyn kind of made it definitive. This is over and then moved on. So what is that officially cheating? You know what I mean? Right. And I mean, this stuff happens all the time. Yeah. So, what, you know, one person gets out of a relationship or struggling in their relationship, another person at the same time, and they happen to fall in love with each other. Yeah. This happens all the time. Right. So that's kind of story. That's that that's Sophia's version, how they fell in love. You know, I'm torn. I love Allie Krieger a lot. I love her a lot. And it's hard to see Allie in pain, but a lot of relationships have pain. And if they weren't going to work out long term, a lot of relationships don't work out long term. Just sad that they have kids involved. Um, but love is pain. 
maybe I said this at the beginning, under any other circumstances, I'd be so pumped. Sophie, Sophia Bush and any soccer player, because I love it. It's just such a, it's just such a messy situation. Sophia Bush and any woman. Yeah. That's, that helps me sleep at night. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. It's just like any other situation, I'd be so pumped, but it's just so messy. And I feel bad for Allie. I feel bad. You know, but based on what we've heard about Ali and Ash over the years, at least what I've kind of saw on Twiddler, Twiddler. <laughs> <laughs> the Twiddler's yeah. back. Oh, no. Twitter, Twitter and Tumblr, you know, and what they've even expressed themselves is there had been a lot of ups and downs in their relationship, just like any relationship, but specifically in their relationship and how um, there was ups and downs. It wasn't like a fairy tale, like what relationship is. But, you know, there wasn't like a there was a lot of issues over the years. And I, I will be honest, this article doesn't make Ashlyn look great either. You know what I mean? I think the timeline is messy, but that doesn't mean Ashlyn cheated. That's that's basically my thought. I think the timeline is messy, but that doesn't mean Ashlyn cheated. But Allie really feels like Ashlyn, the timetable was a little too... Allie was really hurt. You could tell by what she was posting. Allie was really hurt by the whole thing. But it's just a crappy situation because um, Sophia filed for divorce in either June or July. And then Ashlyn filed for divorce in September. Then remember the report saying they had just gotten together in October. That's the part I think is a little fishy. Hey, do I think some of it's fishy? Yeah, that doesn't mean they cheated. But yeah. But I, like I said, any other situation, I'd be so pumped. The only question I really have, one of the, one of the questions I have Mutual friends between Ash and Allie, are they still going to be friends with them individually together? I mean, that's a hard situation. Are they still, are their friends who are friends with both of them now going to just be friends with Allie? Because that's hard. And then actually there was this picture of Sophia Bush and Tobin Heath at the Angel City FC game. Um, because obviously Sophia is an investor and Tobin goes to, I think, most of the games. And so they, that was in March. So, I mean, Tobin looks like, She's still friends with Sophie and they had been friends because um, Sophie had did, did the the reset the table and so they're friends. So and they posted and Sophia posted that picture. So what a great picture. Yeah, it's a good picture. And then, like I said, I don't I'll, I will just play the the pictures from the the red carpet debut, which was at the White House Correspondence Dinner. That's where they made their red carpet debut. I mean, they look great. I mean, they look ama amazing. But pictures from that. And then they were at another event with K Kamala Harris, which is so funny because Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris and, you know, Kamala Harris, Ashlyn Harris. I just got that. Then then they were related. At, oh, then they were at other events. I'll, I'll keep flashing the pictures. Looks like like a garden, something in the garden or something. So they are definitely everywhere right now. Yeah, them holding hands. I'm sorry. Hello, Sophia Bush. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, this, this is the thing. Ashlyn still has her comments turned off on her um, on her Instagram, uh, only to her friends. Actually, I saw um, Hillary Burton commenting on Ashlyn's posts and stuff, too. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I wonder where Ashlyn's social media goes from here because, you know, I, I feel bad. Unfortunate situation. Yeah, I mean, people are going to have their opinions no matter what. And I think people who don't buy the timeline, to uh, full disclosure, I buy the timeline, I'm not, but I think it, is, it does look a little fuzzy. Okay, but I think people who really don't buy the timeline will never be swayed that the timeline is any different than there was some funny business going on. But Sarah loves Peyton till the day she dies, so. <laughs> That's rich, it's Brooke. <laughs> But I am Peyton, so no, I love Peyton too. I bro Brooke and Peyton for freaking life. Okay, that was our next tattoo. Now, that was Sarah's one of Sarah's favorite shows of all time is One Tree Hill. I think a lot of people's are, but but yes, uh, amazing show. And God, I want to go to one of their basketball games. That's okay. they have them. Yes, oh. please. They're still reliving high school. <laughs> Forever. I, I have never seen One Tree Hill, but Sarah from the day Sarah and I met. One Tree Hill, BMP Forever, BMP for Life. She's loved it. So it's hard, I know it's hard for you and fans because, you know, I don't have that emotional connection to Sophia Bush, but I know you do. It's a sexual connection oh, as well. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, um, and like I said, I'm not here to say anything bad about Ashlyn and Sophia because I don't know, you know. I'm torn, but I, I, my true and honest opinion is I think their um, timeline is fuzzy. But Ashlyn and Allie's relationship probably was never going to work out long term with the issues they already had, you know. And my heart always has lied with Sophia and Wonder Hill, but also Allie, you know, and yeah. 
I love Allie. She's not, she's like literally one of the nicest nice, human beings we've, yes. we've ever met. She is so sweet, so nice, so sincere. And also this discourse of people coming out said, I never liked Ashley in any way, blah, blah, blah. I think that's kind of wild. Like, yeah. I, I keep seeing that discourse as well. And, you know, okay. So what did everyone think about that? So moving on. So we're going to briefly touch on this. We're going to briefly touch on this because it was just announced that uh, Kelly O'Hara will be officially retiring from professional soccer at the end of this NWSL season. And it's official. I mean, the it's going to be wild when there's no one left from like the 2015 World Cup, you know, playing at all. She's officially retiring. And if I, I'm sure a lot of people have seen the Kelly on the street where she talks about retirement. Sarah and I watched that last night, but it's official. I think a lot of people knew it, the time was coming. Um, but we're going to keep talking about it throughout this season because it's going to be after the NWSL season. But hey, maybe Gotham could win another title for Kelly. Yes, they won it for Allie last year and we're freaking winning it for Kelly this year. Mm-hmm. Please. So we're making that happen. Yeah. Well, let's go, Gothy. She's done so much, and she is such a fan favorite. Everyone loves Kelly. She's everyone who doesn't have a crush on Kelly O'Hara, too. The freckles, please. Mm-hmm. They send me into orbit. No. And it's so funny because when she was doing the Kelly on the street, people were like, oh, I like, what do you think about Kelly O'Hara? Oh, yeah, she's great. Have no idea she's, they're talking to Kelly O'Hara. Isn't that always how it happens? I know. But she officially is retiring after the season. So sad. We'll miss her. You know, it's kind of like who's next in a way. My heart can't take any more palpitations, okay? <laughs> you already have enough. <laughs> yes. I've been having heart palps lately, by the way. No. But we will be talking about Kelly throughout the season as well. Um, I already know. But that's months away. We still have four or five months of her watching her play. Yes. So we will cherish these last months. Yes, absolutely. Questions, comments down below. What does everyone think? What does everyone think about Sophia and Ashlyn becoming uh officially launching and being officially together i know there's a lot of mixed emotions and i think a lot of uh crashland fans soccer fans you know the situation is messy but at the end of the day i want Allie to find someone to be happy with i want and i want ashlyn and sophia to find happiness as well you know i certainly don't think about them at all oh dear ever <laughs> i gotta go okay. <laughs> questions comments down below we'll talk to everyone later have a great night bye bye i'm not a creep <laughs>